Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and finally Google has started to roll out Wear OS 4.0 to the original Pixel Watch and it will give you some really nice features that I'm going to show you in this video. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing you need to do to get the update is to head over to your watch settings, scroll all the way down, then system, then system updates. If it says that your watch is already up to date, you need to keep tapping on this watch icon until you force it to check for updates manually. Uh, but keep in mind that new update requires a lot of time to get installed. In my case, it took more than two hours, I think. And it, requ it requires the watch to be on the charger. And let me show you here the about screen. It says Wear OS by Google 4.0. And if you want to view more information about the version, you can tap on here. The most exciting change we got with this update is the ability to transfer your watch from one phone to the other without the need to reset it and start from scratch, which is an extremely useful feature. Let me show you how you can achieve this from the Pixel Watch app. First thing you need to do is to go to System from the app, which you can find here at the bottom. And then you will see this new menu item called the Transfer Watch and then you will go through a wizard to finish the steps. So I'm gonna try to transfer it from my Pixel 8 Pro to the 7 Pro to show you the process and then I will revert it back later. But just a quick uh, tip here, make sure that all your Google Play services are up to date by going to security and the privacy, then system and the updates, and then Google Play system updates. You, need, you can check for updates manually and it might ask you to restart the phone to finish the update. After restart, go ahead and check again because sometimes it doesn't finish all the updates in the first time. So keep doing this until you get all the required updates. And now let's take a look at the transfer process. So here I have everything ready and I will try to transfer my Pixel Watch from the Pixel 8 Pro to the 7 Pro. Both have the same Pixel Watch app installed. So let's jump into system, transfer watch, and it says here on your phone, go to Google Play and download the Pixel Watch app, which I already have. Start the transfer on this phone and confirm on your watch. And then on your other phone, open Google Pixel Watch app and pair your watch. So let's start with the first step. So here it's asking me to unlock. And then it gave me a notification. I'm going to open the watch app here to see what's going on. And so it failed the first time. And now I can pair it. Retry. Yes. Seems like there is a delay in the pairing process, but I tried multiple times. Let's see if it's going to work. So I think now it should work fine. So the transfer is complete. Let's tap on done and finish the final steps. So let's give it its time to finish the update. So it seems like the app is stuck on this updating your watch screen, but I can actually do everything on the watch normally and it's paired to the 7 Pro now. So let me show you an example. When I play media, the media controls show up on the screen and I can skip tracks just fine. Everything works, but the app itself is stuck on updating your watch for some reason. I'm going to try to give it even more time and see what's going to happen. So after a long time of being stuck on the updating watch screen, I did force quit the Pixel Watch app and now thankfully everything is working. The watch is connected and synchronized. But the only problem here is I'm not able to pair it with my Fitbit app anymore. So every time I try to do this, it says that there is something wrong. So here when I tap on setup, agree to the terms, that's the screen I get and the watch is connected i restarted the phone restarted the watch cleared all the data related to the fitbit app and still no joy so it seems like this process is buggy for now beside the transfer process let's take a look at the other features starting with notifications now you can mute the watch notifications while using your phone so you don't get the same vibration or ringing sound on your watch and your phone at the same time for no reason which is a really nice feature and you can also do it the other way around. You can mute your phone calls 
and mute your notifications sound and vibration while having your phone locked and wearing your watch so if you have it in your pocket you will no longer get two notifications on each device and two vibrations and so on which is definitely a really nice addition and when it comes to notifications on the watch itself you'll see some improvements like the ability to call phone numbers directly from here plus it will give you a preview for the images and gifs another cool feature i found in the pixel watch app after installing wear os 4.0 when you go to google you will see this new backup option so when you go inside it will show you which google account it will backup your watch to and then when you scroll down it will give you some information like for example the watch will be backed up automatically once you put it on the charger while connected to wi-fi and your data will be stored securely and finally you can manage your backup settings you can turn off the backup view details and more in your watch settings or watch companion app on your phone so you can tap on turn on if you are interested to do this and i think this is a really nice feature and i've been waiting for it for so long and to access the backup option on your watch you need to go to settings and then scroll down to system and then scroll down again until you find backup which is on top of the disconnect and reset option and from here you will be able to see the same information which google account the storage remaining in your google account and you can turn the feature on or off next the camera I'm not sure if this update is related to the camera app itself or Wear OS 4.0 but either way now you can do much more from your Pixel watch. The first thing you will see here is the ability to change the camera mode. You can choose between night sight, portrait or normal photos. You can also choose videos, slow motion, time lapse and blur. On top of this you can switch between the front and the back cameras. And when you take a photo from your watch it will automatically take you to the preview page for a limited time and then return automatically to the camera view and you see this countdown once it finishes that's when it will return back automatically but previously it used to take you to the preview page without returning back on its own you can also interrupt this countdown if you want by tapping on the arrow in the middle and it will take you back right away plus now you have the ability to start recording videos directly from the watch and you will get a live preview while recording now let's talk about the animations from my experience they are more responsive with Wear OS 4 so for example when you scroll through the app list there is no noticeable lag or dropped frames and also when you navigate your settings you will notice this new bouncy animation when it goes to a different page and instead of the pop-up animation that we used to have with Wear OS 3. The boot screen also got a new animation, so let's take a look at it. So it's a kind of slow, but it looks nice. We also got this new unlock button that you will see only after you restart the Pixel Watch. It will show the time at the top and when you tap on it, it will take you to the unlocking screen. With Wear OS 4.0, taking a screenshot from your Pixel Watch is now much easier. All you need to do is to press the side button and the digital crown at the same time. So let me unlock it and show you how it works. Once you take the screenshot, it will show you a preview on the screen first and then you will get a notification on your phone immediately. Tapping on this notification will allow you to send it to someone or upload it to the cloud using Google Photos. With Wear OS 4, now you will see the splash screen of each app when you open it, either if it's running in the background or it's a fresh new start. The charging icon on the watch face is now slightly bigger. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I found in Wear OS 4.0. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.